So let's take a look at number four. Uh, it says an input out machine generates the table shown. So I have this table. Complete the missing entries on the table. So I have to, I'm gonna have to figure out the rule to figure out the entries. So let me think about this. I got a big clue here at zero to one. I know it has a plus one in it. I know it's gonna do something and then add one. So let me think about this. I, I start with one, I do something, add one, and I end up with five. So I know that like the one has to go to a four because then I add one and I get five. So what's that? That's like, I mean, one possibility is times four. Uh, let me try it with the three and the 13. So if I start with a three, 13, the plus one, that's a 12. Oh yeah, look at that, times four. Yeah, so I think it goes um, times four and then plus one. Uh, that works here, that works here, that works here. Five times four is 20, plus one is 21. Yeah, it works here too. So actually I can just do my rule right now. I know what it is. I know that my, I could, I could write it this way, output, is input times four then uh, plus one. I could just write in as a, an equation y equals four x plus one. Well, let me fill in the rest of this table then. Uh, so four four times four is sixteen. Sixteen plus one is seventeen. So that's got to be a seventeen. One. 0, 1, you know, I'll bet that's a 2, because it's kind of the pattern. Let me check it. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Yep, good. Yep, so there's those answers. Complete the missing entries in the table. I did it. Oh, and there's one last piece. That's funny that that moved. Um, what's the value of the output when the input is 10? So when the input is 10, what would the output be? Oh, okay, so that would be... So the input is 10. So that would be 4 times 10 plus 1. 4 times 10 is 40. 40 plus 1 is 41. Uh, what's the value of the input when the output is 37? Uh, that's going the other way. So I want there to be an answer of 37. What was my input to get an output of 37? Well, I know if I know my input, I'm going to go times four, and then I'm gonna go plus one, and I would get my output. So my output's 37. I'm gonna kind of walk this backwards. So walking backwards, um, it would have had been something plus one is 37, which is a 36, right? 36 plus one is 37. So then I have to go like, what times four would give me 36? And I might know it right away, or I could on my calculator go 36 divided by four, but either way, it would be 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 30 plus 6 plus 1 is 37. So my input would have been 9. So the input would be 9 when the output is 37. And that's it for number 4.